What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Capture Sag, everybody in between. Don't be basis. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, 8.50 a.m. June 3rd, 2023. Today is my ex-husband's birthday. For anybody who doesn't know that, he is, I'm 39, so he is 41 today. Um, just saying, just saying. Um, okay, so these are triggering messages. So these are not good messages that I've received so far. So if they trigger you, please, please, please click off, okay? Uh, don't want to trigger anybody. My disclaimers are in the description box below if anybody needs to read up on them, okay? Um, also, my phone number is in the description box, and it has been for years since I started this channel in 2020. If you try to attempt to use my phone number for identity theft, your ass will be caught. I mean, I just feel like I need to put that out there, so just say and just say it, okay? All right. So, okay, so I'm picking up on a Gemini feminine. I heard specifically she's in her 40s, and I heard um, she's about to find out she's pregnant with her sixth child, and I heard this is significant that she's pregnant with her sixth child. Um, I heard she didn't think she could have any more kids. Um, that is significant, obviously, as well, and the fact that this sixth child is actually an affair. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, also heard angel number 666, or I didn't hear angel number. I just heard 666 with, uh, at the end of that channeling, 666. So I looked up angel number 666 because y'all know, I know quite a good bit of the angel numbers, 888, 555's change, 888 is abundance, um, 1111, you know, but I wasn't familiar with, uh, 666. Some people say 666 is the devil's number, but I looked up the angel number, okay? So, we're going to, I'm going to read 666, so that's significant, I'm assuming, to the Gemini Femme that's about to find out she's pregnant with her 66. My God, you know, you want to be pregnant, but, ooh, that's, that's, some people like a lot of kids. I was very happy with my two, and I, God knows I don't want any more, and I haven't for a long time, and that's just the truth. So much so, after um, I got pregnant with my son, I told my ex-husband I didn't want any more kids. So he, he, well, he volunteered to get a vasectomy because it was covered. You know, he, he has uh, military insurance. So, and, and it would have been less downtime on him to get the surgery than me just like literally going under the knife and getting it. Because it was either him getting it or me getting it for no more kids. Um, so he got it. But, of course, that was a long time ago. But. I'm just saying. Okay, so angel number 666, that was back when we were still married. So angel number 666, continuously seeing 666 is an alert to shift your focus in order to relieve some of the stress in your life. Uh, you've become wrapped up in worries. The spiritual meaning of 666 is an encouragement of refocus. Um, seeing 666 tells you to pay closer attention to any fixation you currently have on earthly problems and details. So I'm thinking... Reading that and with the channeling. Oh, wait, I lost you guys. Hold on a second. All right, I'm thinking that with the channeling. I'm thinking this Gemini Femme is going to be very stressed out because she's she's either going to know it's an affair or she's going to. I mean, she knows, it's, she knows she's having an affair. Obviously, she knows she's having an affair, but. Wondering if it, I mean, I don't know if she knows for sure it's the, um, the, um, the person she's having an affair with kid or not, but I think stress, she's going to have stress and having to refocus her attention because she never thought she could have any more kids, but she's about to have another one and a sixth one. And it's not even her person she's with child. So a lot of stress there. She's got to refocus her attention. That's what I'm thinking. Reading 666 and 
you know, whatever. So, you guys plug in and how it resonates. That was the first one. So, Gemini Fem, she could have Gemini any aspects of charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Royal Fem, and Heaven, Jupiter, Charts. I think some of you guys know this person. I think you know her. Um, and I'm just being for real. Six. My God. I was very happy with my two. I had a girl and a boy. I was very happy. Like I said, I raised him by myself for 10 years, and it made me so happy. I never wanted any more. <laughs> but somebody is pregnant. <laughs> okay. So, um, hold on. I have to remember the other ones. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard, um, excuse me, oh, excuse me, okay, I heard someone is about to be indicted soon, heard federal charges, that, that was one of the other ones, so this will be you or somebody you're connected to, I strongly feel somebody you guys know, um, how that resonates, but, excuse me, Someone's about to be indicted soon. Federal charges. Sorry about my hair. <laughs> um, so somebody's about to be indicted soon. Federal charges. That was the first one. And the second one was um the other I meant the other one was um a masculine energy. Um I heard through many series of chain events. Um he's about to be deported. He put a he intentionally put a feminine energy in a false marriage. Um I heard it was all done behind the scenes. Um, many people know about it and, um, he's already been exposed, but he's about to be exposed to people that can do one that can do something about it. And two, um, that do not know about it at this current moment. I heard the people that do know about it at this current moment, they have been protecting him for years. And I heard the, the so-called spouse, which she's not, it's a fem energy. She's not really his spouse because she doesn't even know she's in the false marriage. Um, his community has been protecting him, meaning they haven't told her she's in the false marriage. She has no clue she's in the false marriage. He did it all behind the scenes, all of it. But many people that can actually do something about it, I'm thinking like Fed level or, or lawyers, or maybe it's, um, immigration or, cause I heard deported or however that resonates, um, it sounds like they're about to learn about it. But his own community has been protecting him. But not been telling the femme so-called spouse that she's married. Because they know that he did it all behind the scenes. And so they've been protecting him and not telling her. Wow, that's some effed up crap. And that's just the truth. <laughs> that is so shysty. Uh, and that was the other one. So you guys plug it in how it resonates, okay? Um, I, okay, I just got this one. I heard, um, someone's sister that, whoever you are, um, your sister is in her 40s. I heard her about to have a, a heart attack soon, is about to become very significant in your life. I heard she might end up passing away. If she doesn't, she will have, um, um, some serious healing and recovery to do. So, you plug in and how it resonates. I feel you can be any age and any sign, whoever you are and how that applies. Strike, get out, of, get out of that. Get, come out. Thank you. Um, but your sister is in her 40s. So I'm feeling 40 to 49 if this resonates for you. She's pulling up as your sister. So I don't know if this is your biological sister, adopted sister, or somebody you call a sister. But she's definitely in her 40s, 40 to 49. She's about to have a heart attack. So an MI, myocardial infarction. Um, but it's about to be a bad one. Um, I didn't hear a widow maker, but in some of these situations, it might be a widow maker. Cause I heard if it doesn't kill her, doesn't unalive her basically. Um, which makes me think it might be a widow maker and I'm just being proud. I didn't hear it was, but it makes me think it might be. If she survives, she's going to have a lot of recovery to do. 
because it's about to take her down. Either take her down or take her out. And I'm just being for real. So let's get some time. Get, hold on a second. He's in my takeout box. Hold on a second. Okay, so let's get some time. Cap, she can be a Capricorn dealing with Cap. You mean a Leo or dealing with a Leo? You mean a Gemini or dealing with Gemini? And I picked up that message about the Gemini theme with the six, six pregnancy of the sixth child. Double Leo energy. You mean a Leo or dealing with Leo? Double Leo. Sag, you mean a Sag or dealing with Sag? Double caps. Double Gemini. Pisces. You mean Pisces or dealing with Pisces? You can be a Cancer or dealing with Cancer. Triple Capricorn. I definitely think one of you guys is Caps or dealing with Caps for sure. For sure. Triple caps. Aquarius. You mean Aquarius or dealing with Aquarius? Um, definitely think one of you guys is Leo or dealing with de dealing with Leo. That's triple Leo energy. Double Aquarius. Taurus still with Taurus. Okay. Alright. I heard someone, a masculine energy specifically, uh, just for masculine, masculine energy that has recently um, suffered a back injury. Um, I heard just back surgery just now. So some kind of back surgery. I heard he refuses um, to get proper medical care for it. Um, I heard he will end up in the hospital soon, probably septic. Um, I just got that one. So, uh, I think some of you guys know this person. Um, how that resonates and applies. He's a masculine energy. He could be these signs I pulled, have these in the chart or not. Um, but he, is, uh, he recently had back surgery, I heard. So, I don't know if that's L's, T's, C's, somewhere, so I'm assuming somewhere in a spinal column. Um, but, um, uh, he, uh, recently had back surgery and, um, so spinal column, like I said, I don't know if it's L's, T's, C's in his spinal col column or what have you. I I'm not sure, but, um, I didn't hear that part, but he's refusing to get medical care for, I'm assuming, um, uh, for his post-surgical incision site, or maybe it became infected or is infected. I didn't hear details on it. There's a million things that could be going on adversely there. Um, and I hate to say that, but that's just the truth. But he refuses to get medical care, or medical treatment. Um, so I'm assuming he's not calling his doctor. He's not getting, or he's not going to the emergency room, or he's not trying to receive some kind of medical care or treatment for his post-surgical surgery. Um, spinal surgery, um, I'm presuming. Um, you play, he's about to receive the negative karma basically because he's not properly taking care of himself. Um, he's a masculine energy, uh, whoever he is and however that applies in your life. I feel for some of you might know him. Um, I heard it's about to become significant in so one of you guys' life that he's about to have adverse reactions. So whoever, one of you guys watches my channel that knows this person, this masculine energy that recently had a back surgery. Um, only you would know if you know a masculine energy that recently had a back surgery and I'm just being for real, but him about to start having adverse signs and symptoms of something negative about to occur. I'm thinking it might be infection. It might be, um, maybe something dehisses like a, a post-surgical site dehisses, meaning it pops open, um, and creates problems or anything else. Oh, I heard septic. I heard septic. Yeah. I, I think he's. I think he's about to acquire an infection. Yeah, because I heard septic. I think he's about to acquire an infection. And he refuses to get treatment, so it's making it worse. To the point, he's probably going to end up having to go to the ER or call EMS, and they're asking going to send him to the, e uh, to the ER. And I'm just being for real. I did hear septic, so I'm just saying. And I pulled in septic energy yesterday. Septic, sepsis is never something to be, that is very life-threatening. I'm, I'm, that, that can kill you. That can TKO your ass. This dude 
He doesn't sound like he takes care of himself. I mean, or allows others to help take care of him. Okay, I heard a Virgo is about to find a very significant letter. I think there might be more than one Virgo. For some, you could be Virgo. You have to plug it in how it resonates. A Virgo is about to find a significant letter for one, significant email for one. Um, it, okay, one, I heard uh, text. So, one, a letter, an email, or a text. You could be a man or woman Virgo. Have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Only you know Virgo, if this resonates for you, or a Virgo that comes across my channel. If you're about to find a letter, a uh, um, text, or an email. But I heard this letter, text, or email is about to become very, very, very significant in your life. To the point, I heard you're about to take some huge, serious action. Um, how that resonates? I didn't get details. Let me see if I do. Letter, text, or email. You can have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Okay, one of you guys, I heard it's about an affair on a ball team just now. One of you guys, this letter, text, or email, it's about an affair on a ball team. So I don't know if it's a ball team you play on or somebody you're connected to plays on. Somebody about an affair on a ball team or maybe you're the coach um, or assistant coach or what have you. So about an affair on a ball team. One, is, one it's about, I heard, a hidden camera. One is about a hidden camera. One is about a... Um, a fair on a ball team. And one is about your husband. Toxic, I just heard toxic. And one is about your toxic husband. So only you know if you're married to somebody toxic, Virgo. So one is about your toxic husband. One is about a hidden camera. So hidden camera, that's no consent, no authorization. I'm presuming. Um, why is it hidden? You know, just saying, just saying. If it was somebody knew about it and there was consent and authorization, it wouldn't be so hidden. And that's just the truth. Um, and, uh, one, it's about, um, it's about an affair on a ball team. So you guys plug it in, how it resonates. You have Virgo, any aspects of your charts. I think you can be a man or woman, Virgo. How that resonates with the box. Okay. I'm closing this out. Hashtag Mary out. Love you guys. Deuces.